five, four, three, two, one. That's how it's supposed to go. Wow. I've been curious about setting up some relatively simple to do tests to show the effects of compressed air underwater. So what I've got here is a rig made out of PVC. It's five feet long. Ultimately, I'm gonna take this and put it in a lake or something like that and test it up to four feet underwater where the zero is at the top of the bottle. This is just a two liter bottle. It has a valve stem in it with a half inch washer and some two T's and they're screwed in place so that they don't pop off. Bottles like this can be pressurized up to around 100, 120 PSI. The smaller bottles, I'll also test those. These can be up around 210. And I'll put a reference down below of a great video where they do the testing of this. Here's another one liter bottle in shape. And this is just like one of those real lightweight water bottles. I'm sure that you can't pump that up to 100 PSI. So we got this bottle on here cable tied and then what I've got is a trigger it's going to slide down the PVC pipe and contact the bottle here and this is just a galvanized nail with some sleeves on it. I'm going to pump up the bottle with a regular bike pump but I don't trust this gauge so I'm going to have a digital gauge as a backup to assure that I know what the pressure is going to be in the bottle before we put this all in motion. So here we go, I'm gonna pump this bottle up and we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure what this thing is gonna do, but I'm not gonna take any chances. Flailing shreds of plastic, it's probably not a good thing. We'll see how it does the first time and if it's relatively safe, maybe I'll power down a little bit on the safety, we'll see. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. That was really interesting. <laughs> I didn't expect anything this powerful, this big to go off. You do not want to try this at home. I'm going to do it to keep you safe. It blew off the cable ties. It blew this whole container in half. Just split the bottle right down the side. Popped off the washer off of the thing here. Popped off one of these guys. You can see that I put some hot glue in there to kind of preserve the chamber here. Wow. And the bottle was only in about this deep, about six inches into the water. from the, So it was completely surrounded by water. But boy, did it make a big bang. Five, four, three, two, one. That's how it's supposed to go. Wow. Five, four, three, two, one. That's how it's supposed to go. Wow. Here is the aftermath. And this is why 
you wear all this safety gear. I'm all wet. I had the shield down. Water came on the shield. Here's a piece right here. And look how far away it is. Good 20, 30 feet. Piece here. Piece here. Blew the washer off. And totally decimated the plastic container. And blew my rig off. The other one half is gone. You can see where it punctured right here. I don't take safety lightly at all. I know people that have really hurt themselves. Don't do this at home. But I show the force a pressurized container can do. It's crazy. I mean, this is like 15 gallons of water and just totally destroyed it. I do this so you don't have to. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. This is the beginning of a series of science experiments that I want to show people. So I'll do them as safe as possible. And this is the reason why. I got boots on, I got totally thing, pieces came back towards me. And you know, it's soft plastic, but when it comes at you really fast, it can be very, very dangerous. If you like these kind of things, breaking, making, home improvements, cosplay, check out my channel and please subscribe. And until next time, see you later.